Hey buddy Crow back again with another Zacharia Pinball Table. This time we're looking at in the remake, second table in the remake, second remake in 2016, Space Shuttle. So the Space Shuttle remake. Space, Space Shuttle. Shuttle. Remake. Remake, of course. So let's take a look around. There's our uh Ooh, I like, they must have cleaned this image all, it must be brand new image or they cleaned this up a lot because that looked a lot better than um, shooting the rapids, which seemed to be just a repurposed old scan. Uh, but let's take a look at this. There's a lot, right at first glance, there's a lot of ramps and uh, wires and, and habit trails here. It looks like we've got uh, flipper, two, our two main flippers, which were translucent by the way. So it looks like these are translucent as well. So it's pretty cool. We've got a flipper on the side here. I don't know what the purpose of that is. We'll have to find out. It looks like it's blocking you from draining. So why would you ever want to <laughs> lift that up to let the ball drain? That's interesting. Uh, something different. And then here's another flipper up here. So it looks like we've got two, um, two extra left flippers. <laughs> Star combo orbit. Ooh, looks like we've got planet Earth there. That's pretty cool. The ball would be kind of traveling around the Earth. That looks cool. That is interesting. So, what I'm going to do is play this for a little while. Uh, maybe an hour or so. Uh, we'll do a jump cut, and I will kind of uh, kind of explain a little bit what I've learned about this table. And then you'll see uh, the best game I had. All right. I've been playing, um, well, Space Shuttle for kind of close to an hour. So um, here's what I've figured out. Well, for starters, this right uh, outlane, terrible. The ball is constantly getting drained there. Um, now there is a kickback there, but in order to get the kickback activated, you have to spell moon. And that's, there's two targets way up here, M-O, and then an O here, and then an N here. That activates the kickback and it's just, that's not happening. <laughs> not not before you drain the ball. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's possible, but yeah, that never happened while I was playing. Uh, the star lights here, that just, when you light them all, you get random awards. I'm not even sure if I've done that or not, because uh, it's not something I was paying attention to. Now, what I was paying attention to, well, there is a skill shot. Basically, after you launch the ball, you have 10 seconds to hit that left ramp there. It's the one that's lit skill shot. So uh, that's kind of worth a, a bunch of points, too. But sometimes you're just not able to do that, depending on where the ball goes. Uh, you do have that flipper there. And again, it's it's good for kind of shooting it up this way. But it is kind of funny how it just completely blocks off the left outlane, making it not a worry when the ball goes over there at all, unless you kind of flip the flipper and it goes under there. Uh, but the two things I was looking at was multi-ball and starting modes. Now, multiple I never got. It's like kind of like um, uh, shooting the rapids. It is quite a chore to activate multi ball. Around this pop bumper, we see a bunch of targets. It looks like six of them, six uh, drop targets launch. You drop all six of them, and then you have to lock the ball using this upper flipper to shoot it into this little, um, little gated area here, and that'll lock the ball. Once you lock ball one, you have to do that again. You have to drop all the launch targets again, hit lock ball two and lock ball three. And yeah, it doesn't sound too difficult, but you always wind up draining. I mean, the balls carry over. I mean, the, the, it carries over from ball to ball where you left off in the lock process. But I just never did complete that. Now, instead, what I was really going for was starting a mission. There's a target way up here, start mission. It's kind of difficult to hit. You, you can't hit it from both flippers, but you got to be really careful because it is right in the middle. You have to hit it three times and then start mission lights. And then you hit it again a fourth time and you start a mission. And the missions are not that difficult, actually. Uh, I've actually completed them mo most of the time. It could be anything from hitting uh, just ramps or certain areas, hitting pop bumpers, slingshots, a certain number of time. But it gives you two minutes, and it's more than enough time to complete them. And then once the mode is over, you don't even have to hit that three more times. You could just hit it again and start the next mission. Each mission is uh, represented by one of these planets here. 
But that's pretty much all I was going for. There, there, there is that orb, but I don't know if that's going to be in the game I show you, but you hit that basically from the left upper flipper, and it kind of circles around the planet. That's, you know, it's just for show, but it is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to see uh, the best game I had during the stream, and or at least the stream that I'm recording right now. <laughs> and then after that, uh, it's just some final comments on this table. I'm not exactly sure. It's one of those... It's a really rare thing to have to happen. So I don't really remember exactly. Well, at least the ball save was on. There it is, that's one. So that's what that did. You have to do that four times to activate a mode. There's two. Three. Yeah, four times. The fourth time starts the mode. Except when that happens. Did I get a cow? I don't remember. It's just an inside joke anyway. I think it's just worth points. All right lane strikes again. Alright, lock is lit. I really like that orbit. That's really cool. Okay, Might come in handy. Ah, perfect. Mode start. We just have to shoot the flashing. Oh, I see. So it's a whole row. Almost backhanded it in there. I think we. Was that a ball lock? No, no. There we go. And oh, we have that one of the moon shots. There we go. I think we have to do it again. No. We got a lot of time for this. Mission completed. Well, unlike shooting the rapids, I actually completed a mission here. And we're in the top 100. Ah, oh, I should have just let it bounce. Hey there, Galactic Gordon. This is Space Shuttle Remake. Of course, but the ball saved. Right, 
quite. Alright, let's see if we can get that. Almost. a tough shot to make. There it is. Hit flashing lanes three times. So once he activated, it just stays activated? And again, I think we got two minutes to do this. not anywhere close to where we need to go with these. Oh, the ramp is not what we want. Well, we have a minute left. There's two. That's it! Mission completed. And, of course, small drain. That gave us, like, we're in, like, spot number 35 or something. Leaderboards. Yep, number 35. And that is Space Shuttle Remake. Now, unlike shooting the rapids, that was the very last game that I played, so I'm sure that if I kept playing, I might have done better. I did kind of want to see multi-ball, but it, I, to me, it just wasn't worth going for specifically. I would hit the, the targets on accident, and if the ball lock was available, maybe I would go for it. But it just seemed like going for the different modes would earn a lot of score anyway with less fuss. And that's true, especially seeing as how easy some of those modes were. I mean, I did play some other modes that were just a teeny bit more difficult, but they weren't really that hard in the grand scheme of things. So I did like Space Shuttle. I do think it was a little bit better than the Shooting the Rapids remake, but there are plenty more remake tables to go, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the newer ones have to offer. So that's it for this video. If you made it this far and you do like the video, make sure you do like the video. And if you made it this far and you haven't yet subscribed, I would recommend subscribing because I do have many videos just like this on my channel with many more videos to come. Thanks for watching.